So today we have the FA Cup final. Let's see if we can add a second trophy in our first full season as Man City manager. <laughs> Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Clubs. So for today's FA Cup final, we have Kilaric in goal with Erkan, Gvardiol, Karuda and Van Dong at the back. Man Manzano and Bellingham in midfield with Malcolm, Tevez and Pino behind Haaland up top. So we've got Bournemouth today who, after last season's heroics, you know, looking really good, have failed a bit this season and are down in mid-table. So this is their one-stop shop to Europe, I sense. Um, so they'll be holding out and trying to get European football. But we are going to definitely be trying to stop them. But it looks like they've got the first attack. And what a volley. We're saved by the post there. Van Dong gets the ball. That was superb. It's Haaland, headers forward. But Zikakio to land. Now Bournemouth seem to be on the attack with Washington to Savio. To Brenna. Savio. Savio, but it's Washington who's put the ball in the back of the net to make it 1 0 to Bournemouth. Yet again, it looks like, as with Arsenal game, uh, sorry, as with the West Ham game, we're going to have to come from behind, which is not what we want to see. I think we're going to just go attacking already just to try and get something a bit more up top. M Malcolm throws it in towards the far post. Manzo to Gvardio. Dong, Jeremy. Dong, Jeremy. Plays it across. Malcolm oh, just saved and pushed onto the bar. Bellingham regains. Erkan now. What can he do with it? He goes down the wing. Can he find a ball into the centre? No, he plays it to Malcolm, who does play a ball into the centre. And it's Harlem poured down. It doesn't matter because Tevez has put the ball in the back of the net to make it one all. And Ramsdale is not having a good day there. Malcolm just plays it across. It looked like Harland was fouled. But Jeremy manages to poke the ball through to Tevez, who puts the ball in the back of the net. So it doesn't matter if it was a penalty or not. Great play there from us. But here is Erkan now with the throw to Bellingham. Bellingham loses out, though. And they've managed to play it all the way back to Ramsdale. But Kuruda has intercepted. Lovely there. Bellingham plays it forward to Haaland, who plays it out to Jeremy. Can Jeremy find a ball across? He does to Tevez, who slots it into the top corner to make it 2 0. Happy days. Yes. Gotta love it. Oh, we never give up mentality that I've got seems to be playing off paying off now with this manchester city tide it's taken a bit of time but we are finally in the position to do exactly what i want the team to do and they are playing superbly well Unfortunately, it looks like Jeremy Pino is obviously going to 
not be with us next season so we're going to need to try and replace that wing that side um because obviously the other player mbappe is retiring as well so we do lack there and it's come up to the 75th minute we're gonna make some changes malcolm's gonna come off for nape uh, sorry for bishop Jeremy's going to come off for Haaland. Um, in fact, Jeremy's going to come off for... Yeah, for ha Haaland's going to come off for Mbappe. Mustard's going to come on the right-hand side. And we are going to bring Jude off for Napan as well. Freshen things up with 15 minutes to go. Give the other boys a chance to play in the FA Cup final. I would say that it's all over, but you never know. He's Mbappe to Mustard. Mustard now running all past his players. Cuts back to Timmers, and that's a hat trick in the FA Cup final. What superb play from Tevez. He has done it. Beautiful play, gets his third, our third for the game, and the hat trick hero, he most definitely is. It is Van Dong, plays it forward, Tevez headers it on towards Mbappe, but Mbappe's not going to reach it. Savio to Madrid to Alvalos. Alvalos gets a consolation goal. So like they got one early in the first half, they've got one late in the second half. But I think it's all over. And it is now. And up we go. Haaland taking the first step up. And he's going to pick up the trophy off of the FA guy we've got the trophy and here we go ladies and gentlemen your double winners Manchester City <laughs> we have brought success to our management and success to this club absolutely fantastic and well deserved that is a second trophy of the season and we've got a, 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 a notable uh, what you might call it cup glory double glory e, and yes the achievements they were sorry i forgot the name for a minute we got those two achievements manchester city do the double we're giving two million We've won a domestic cup. We've made glory and we've won the cup for the first time in f four years. Tevez with that was absolutely superb. We are going to continue on a couple of things until we see the end of season review should be coming up fairly soon i imagine it's going to be on that day 28th maybe we have got 300 odd million and there you go the conditions but it's been oh bananas <sighs> We might have to re-go for him again. The 17-year-old we had agreed terms with. Unfortunately, it looks like we've signed too many foreign, young foreign players, which is irritating. So we may have to look elsewhere to strengthen the squad where we need to, which isn't going to be cheap. Squad-wise, I've been really happy this season. I don't think we need any major changes. Obviously, uh, Pino, Yer Jeremy Pino is gone. 
Um, he's already agreed to go elsewhere. Mbappe's retiring, so we'll need to probably look to to do something there. But as things stand, we get an A plus for the Premier League. The board are thrilled that we won the Premier League. Only a C for the uh, Champions League. B minus for the FA Cup win. I'm not entirely sure what else we could have done there. And a C for the Carabao Cup as we were knocked out early on in that cup because we played a massively rotated team. So, uh, previous club, current club, we're still worldwide. Sponsorships down a little bit. Broadcast revenues down a little bit, as is prize money. But corporate and hospitality and match day commercials up. Jeremy's, unfortunately, our biggest uh, shirt sales. That's going to change because he's going... But Harlan, Malcolm, Kuda and Bellingham still up there. Our team of the year. Silver in goal. Erkan, Yoro, Gvardiol, Bertels at the back. Van Dong and Bellingham in midfield with Malcolm Tevez and Pino behind Harland up top. Lots and lots of green. Superb play. Manager awards. I've got English League Manager of the Month for February. English Premier League Manager of the Year. Uh, fans Player of the Season was Erling Haaland. Young Player of the Season, Malcolm. Signing of the Season was on Bappe. Euro got Goal of the Season against Newcastle. We've got Erling Haaland with 46 goals this season. Bellingham with 13 assists. Haaland, 7.5 average rating. And most passes complete was Gvardiol. New records. Most goals in a game. Haaland with five. Most goals by a player in a league game was Haaland with five. Most league goals by a player is Erling Haaland. He's got three... 110 goals. English player top goal scorer was Haaland. England's player of the year was Malcolm. And obviously the goal scoring as well. So we move through. That's our timeline. Nobody really cares. And that's it, boys and girls. That was the first season at... Manchester City and they are disappointed we're not making the most of set pieces maintain current yeah um, this is what they want we're just going to accept it so challenge for the Premier League title is what they want Premier League uh, successful season I'm sure you want to retain the title Let's go. Uh, focus on bringing it towards. Thank you again. So, as I said, we're losing Pino. We're losing Mbappe, which means we'll have to find another player for the right hand side. I mean, Mustard's pretty good. He's um, more than capable of playing there. But for next season I'd like him to be a shadow striker or a striker we may change things up um, we'll have to wait and see who we manage to bring in to do that but until then please leave a like subscribe if you're new I've been the mask manager and until next season I have spoken